what we're here. It's right around 22:20, the night before this project is due. We're in the EE lab with the, our fellow com compatriots. This is Alexander Stewart, and he's going to tell us the basic principles and how curse crop laws really applies to modern life in the sense of an EE. Alexander? Dan. Well, let's see. So right now, my big problem is that I don't have enough megabytes in my circuit right here. And I've tried applying Kirchhoff's law, which is that the sum of voltages around the loop is going to be equal to zero. But, you know, without the megabytes, I just can't get it to work. You know? Do you have any <coughs> input? Could you perhaps give another example of Kirchhoff's law? Well, in class, we went over that very simple example about how to take it. And I think you, being the expert at EE, could tell me. I could tell you how to take Kirchhoff's voltage loop rule around my circuit, Dan. I would love to take it around your circuit. Let's Probably pretend later. that this Altera chip is generating some voltage. It's a voltage source right there. And it's going through some resistors right here. They may or may not be burnt out and non-functioning, so they'll provide a lot of resistance. Perfect. And then, well, this pad right here acts pretty much the same as an inductor. So that'll cause some inductance right there. Now this is generating us an electromotive force like such. So we picked a random way of how we're going to take uh, take the voltage source and how it's going to go around the circuit. Oh, it's not random, Dan. You go counterclockwise. And why do you do that? Why do you do that? Because it's convention, my good sir. Ha <laughs> ha! Convention. So, here you'd have a negative maximum voltage coming from our power source right there. That chip is generating some number of volts. Mm hmm. We're not sure yet. Might help if we learn. So, this resistor right here, these guys, have some resistance R. Now, as you know, mm -hmm. of course, the voltage across a resistor is equal to I times R. The current times the resistance. The inductor, of course, has some inductance L, giving us a voltage of L di over dt. This sum is equal to zero. So, so what you're trying to say in modern life that this could be helpful in such things as Game Boys or different programs? Like, what exactly are you working on? Well, I'm working on a guessing game, Dan. This exciting game will allow you to generate a random number between 0 and 665,355. So you get to guess until you find the random number. And the only way we get a number is if we properly apply this law? Correct. If this law is not applied, this circuit will start on fire. Well, there you have it, folks.